guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name's Stan, and today we're on a bit of a field trip. We're here with Paul uh, Brenniger uh, with ZT Fabrication. Um, thanks for letting me come and look around your place. And Anytime, everything. glad to have you. Well, what uh, I mean, what kind of products do you make? I know you've had uh, uh, a lot of success with your welding carts. What else are you making here? Uh, so we make some garage organization accessories. I do uh, TIG rod storage racks. I do grinder racks. We do aerosol can racks and air tool holders as well. Oh, okay. Well, you've got some uh, pretty cool tooling uh, and machinery around here. I can't <laughs> wait to get out there and check it out. So we're going to take you on a shop tour here in a little bit. Um, but uh, what we mainly wanted to talk about was the uh, ZT Fab Lincoln Electric giveaway here Absolutely. coming up at the bash. Uh, he is donating one of his uh, ZT Fabrication welding carts uh, and I'm here to pick it up today. And we're going to take it in for powder coat and uh, we're going to give it away at the bash. And uh, we sure appreciate you. Uh, well, I appreciate the opportunity to give it. It's always a great time at the bash. I was there last year. Uh, looking forward to being there again this year. And everybody who comes is always great to talk to. A lot of great sponsors, a lot of great people involved. Yeah, it's, well, I, I have a good time. Well, you know, it's, so it's a busy day for me. They, <laughs> they, they tell me I had a good time yeah. and, I, and I've got video to prove it. So uh, they, they said I had a good time. Yeah, so that, yeah I, I remember seeing you kind of come and go. Uh, and yeah, you're well, always on the run, but yeah, you put on a great event, Stan. Thank you for uh, letting me be involved in it. Oh, awesome. Okay, I'm glad you enjoy. Well, uh, you know what? Link below for the giveaway. Um, uh, go check that out. And also we're going to stick a link in down there for the uh, ZT Fab. Uh, website, you know, if you want to get your hands on one of these carts, you ship them knocked down, right? Yes, they're all welded yourself kits. They come in a uh, 30 by 30 by 9 inch box, ready to weld for you, and it comes with all the hardware, casters, wheels, everything's pre bent, ready to go. You just need to weld it, paint it, and enjoy it. Okay, well, we're going to go take some close ups of some of the sub components and uh, out in the shop and, and look at the quality of this stuff. I've, I've seen it firsthand, but uh, I want to let you guys take a look at it. It's some pretty outstanding looking stuff. So uh, Thank you very much. let's go uh, take a look around your shop if that's okay. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Well, here's a new product Paul just came out with, and I thought this was pretty clever. It's just a little wall mounted uh, bracket for your aerosol cans, but it also stores uh, air tools. And, you know, it's got a slotted fitting, kind of a keyhole type thing that will fit a CP1 or CP6, I believe, automotive or the industrial style. Uh, uh, quick connects, which is which is cool. Just kind of comes out of that key slot and fits in that upper uh, uh, little groove there. So pretty cool. He's going to be adding these to his website. Uh, go check them out. Okay, well the ever-present uh, Bridgeport milling machine, Edge Products Stop, which is I, I haven't seen one before. I've seen them in catalogs, but I've never seen one up close. What's nice about those is they bolt to the vise, so if you ever swing the vise, the stop moves right along with it instead of the table type. And he's got a very clever setup here. He's got a little stop here so he can indicate once in one spot, move in, hit a stop, and indicate again on a second stop. So pretty cool. Your garden variety bridge port. Let's take a look at your bending machine. Paul, you want to step in there and tell me about your bender? Uh, yeah, this is made by Rush Machine Design out of Wisconsin. It's the uh, RDB 250 CNC tubing bender. Uh, two and a half inch capability, non mandrel rotary draw. Uh, we've got the index table on it so we can do out of plane bending. Mm -hmm. um, full CNC capability, up to 100 programs can store in that system. Uh, we bend all of our card handles and, and any tubing products we make on it, and it's great. Awesome. How much crush do you get with the non-mandrel? Uh, not too bad as long as you stick to about three times the diameter of the material you're bending. If okay. you go anything below that, you'll get a, a pretty significant pinch. Okay. So you, there's rules involved. Absolutely. Okay. Very nice. All right. You got your press brake here. Yeah, that's a Gefil 33-ton up-acting press brake with a uh, Automec CNC 1000 uh, three-axis controller on it. So I've got a back gauge that moves front to back as well as up and down for doing offset bends like on my grinder racks. Mm -hmm. And it also controls the ram depth for our bend angles. Nice. Okay, you got your wet table over here. Yeah, that's my Arclight Pro 9600. That is a 4x8 CNC plasma running a Hypertherm PowerMax 65. We can do up to 5 8 thick steel and typically cut our 14 gauge, 12 gauge, and quarter inch parts for all of our welding parts on it. Nice. And all your stuff is done on this? All my stuff is done on that. We do everything in It's house. making clean cuts. We're going to go look at those here in a little bit. And there's
there's your control station for it. Yeah, vintage Powermatic, look at that. Now that's my old 143, before I had the plasma table, that's how I cut everything in the shop. <laughs> wow. Has it got a year on it? No. I don't think so. I love, just love old stuff. Yeah, I love that machine. Alright, here's some parts you made up. Yes, yeah, so we've got a lot of the components that make up our cart kits. We've got our cord hangers. These are our quarter inch axle brackets that sit below the uh, welding cylinders and hold your 5 8 axle shafts. These are the ends to our bottle brackets that hold your bottles up on top. We've got one of our drawer kits. This is how it ships in knockdown form. We've also got some of our three place and four place grinder racks. These are wall mounted units. They come ready to paint. They have an integrated cord hangers as well as tool holders and pegs for all of your consumables up on the top. So these you just, uh, after you get them out there, you just bend them out and hang your cord? Out. And I leave them unbent because a lot of people now have the new cordless grinders and they don't oh. need cord storage. So if you have one or two cordless ones, you don't have to, uh, easier bend to out the tabs and easier to ship too. Exactly. Yeah, it is. Exactly. And you, you've got a lot of button dimpler, uh, features on them. Yeah. Yeah. We do all of our dimple dies and our 50 ton dake press. Yep. That's uh, that adds strength to the unit yep. and, and gives it a little bit of style. Absolutely. But as you can see, the way these things are stacking up, they're just mirror image of each other. Just carbon copies. And there's some components for uh, the TIG welding cart. I wanted you guys to take a look at these cuts he's getting. That plasma is just dead on. I always thought they were laser cut. I didn't know you were doing everything with the plasma. So you got that thing dialed in. There's some of the corner features. I'll try to focus on there. Oh, there it goes. There's some of his edge edges from the plasma. Super clean. Nice layout table too. Thanks, yeah, that's my strong hand build pro table. I've got all my tooling and everything down in here as well. Oh, nice. So Every we've got a full complement, full fabricated package of tooling for it. And all the clamp systems. These are all the pins that drop in. Wow, they don't give those away either. No, this is about a five thousand dollar tooling package. Oh, there you go. Look at that. All of our setup blocks. Beauty. And another layout table, and some more of uh, the cutouts. And that's the base to our welding parts. That's twelve gauge hot rolled pickled and oiled steel. Everything is ready to weld when you get it, and easily accepts paint because it doesn't have the mill scale finish on top of it. Oh, okay. So your hot tickets are the welding carts and the uh, grinder racks? Yeah, yeah, we're doing about six welding carts a week and about five to six grinder racks a week right now. And the ever-present synchro wave. Burr King, nice. You, you have good taste in tools? Thanks. <laughs> Owen Lincoln, I might need a color swatch off of that. I need to get that, uh, your, that cart, oh, okay. I need to get that yeah. cart powder coated. It's pretty much just a fire engine red, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty close. Okay, so you got some Lincoln and some Miller, your Ford and Chevy here. Yep, yeah, that little Lincoln 110 is the very first welder I ever bought back in about 1999. And this TIG is the first TIG I ever bought back in 2001. And any welding project I've ever done has come out of these machines right here. Nice, I've, I've, seen seen your, I've seen your welds, they're works of art. Thank you very much. I have a little preheat oven for doing cast parts or oh, heavy okay. aluminum sections. Okay, nice. How come we don't have a grinder rack in here? I don't have any more wall space. What the heck is with that? I know a guy that makes really nice grinder racks. <laughs> if I could keep them in stock, I'd take one. And you got a shear over here. Yeah, I've got a Edwards True Cut 10 gauge, 6 foot wide uh, power shear with a front operated power back gauge on it that goes to 25 inches. Nice. But your bread and butter is pretty much the plasma, huh? Bread and butter is the plasma. The bandsaw and the shear were workhorses for a long time, but plasma is definitely the way to go. Nice. Now you've got a few other little other parts over here on the shelf that you make too, don't you? Yeah, I've got some uh, some key racks and key holders that I make. I sell them on uh, Etsy. Oh, okay. And what's your Etsy channel name? Uh, it's actually 40 Manzanita. 40 Manzanita. Yes. Make some pretty cool little key racks. That's kind of a piano looking thing yeah, there. Piano keys, kind of a play on words. Yep. 
We've got some piano keys. Oh, I get it yeah, now. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, you, you lost me there. We've got treble clef and bass clef. Okay. My whole family's full of musicians. Oh, uh, I, and I'm not. <laughs> okay. He's got a guitar-looking thing here. That yeah. looks. Uh, let's get that out in the light. A little dusty, but that's okay. Yeah, that's a good-looking piece. That's for hanging keys or hanging keys. A lot. You hold your guitar chords too. Oh, okay. So. Nick knickknacks, whatever. Yep. Absolutely. Pretty cool. What else you got under here? Uh, more yeah, of the same? Yeah, a little bit more of the same. Some oh, theater arts. Theater arts stuff. Oh, that's cute. So you're getting some really nice detail out of that plasma. Yeah, and that's all 14 gauge steel with the hypertherm fine cut consumables. It mm. does a really good job. Yeah, it is doing a nice job. Love it. Okay, guys, uh, that's Paul from uh, ZT Fab. Uh, appreciate you showing me around the shop. Thanks for having me, Stan. You bet. Okay, Paul. Well, I sure appreciate you showing me around the shop. I mean, that was uh, that was you got a, some awesome machinery, and your pa you. your parts are first class. You know, Thank I, you I just much. love the way everything looks. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go check out the website, and we'll see you at the bash. Hey guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name's Stan. And today we're on kind of a field trip. We're here with Paul. Oh, shit. Brinegar. Like vinegar. I, I was going to call it Brinegar. A lot of people do. But yeah, just pretty much remember like vinegar. I saw the brine. Okay, well, we screwed that <laughs> one up. Hey, guys. Welcome to Bar Z. My name's Stan.